torn it completely off the back. Remember I told you about that? Yeah. It was all up in the notch. Yeah. I would have bet my next paycheck that he had a bucket handle meniscus tear because he would not go straight. Okay? So once, it's the first time he's ever been hurt. He's a freshman. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, does he not want to get it straight because he hurts? Or, you know, is he just guarding? Or is there something actually in there that, you know, the meniscus didn't get flipped up? So finally I let him, you know, I kind of convinced him that, yeah, just let me try this one time. So we, we got him in this position, a little very stress. I got him, ah, oh, and it reduced. And then he was good until the next time it did it. And then I got him, he could do that on his own. He would just sit there and do it on his own. He'd get it to reduce. And then he got tired of dealing with it within a week and we went ahead and did the surgery. Come to find out it wasn't a bucket handle meniscus tear. Even when we got the MRI, Dr. Lowe said, well, you know, he really, there's not much of a meniscus tear. Well, the tear was the meniscus on the posterior corner had gotten completely avulsed off. And then whenever we reduce him, you know, you don't, the meniscus looks good, okay? But when he got in there, he was like, ugh, oh, it torn completely off. Nine stitches all the way around there, got completely oh, torn off. So I was right, somehow, <laughs> okay? so. That is O'Donoghue McMurray. Remember, McMurray's keep it simple. You're here. Flex them. O'Donoghue, twist, down into deep reflection. External rotation, thumb. I'm gonna apply a valgus and extend. Put them in a figure four. Just let them come, let that knee kind of come towards you and extend. That's the varus. Keep it, keep it simple. Don't make it any more complicated than that. Now, uh, athlete's compression, uh, you're going to have them flip over onto their stomach. There's athlete's compression and athlete's distraction. Athlete's compression is provocative. Athlete's distraction is, it takes it away. So we have them here. And the idea is to push the tibia straight down, internally and externally rotate, see if that can recreate pain. Just not a great exam. I, I'm not real crazy about it, okay? But put, put them on the table, push straight down, internally and externally rotate, asking them if they feel a click, pop, pain, okay? So do that one. 